Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I am going to be rigging a Gore's Offshore high speed lure tonight. And um, my dog, actually, my wife's dog, Squid, is in there whining like crazy. So if you hear any background noise, I apologize. So, anyway, I'm not going to be doing it at this bench because, as you can see, we got shotgun tore apart and uh, we just got out of duck season and we're getting ready to head into turkey season. So, we're getting all the chokes chained out, changed out, um, getting the guns cleaned up, you know into like new condition as we always do that way uh if any failure does occur it's on us it's not on the gun so stick with me I'm gonna go rig over here at the other station and show you how i do my high speed wahoo lures by gores offshore What I'm going to do is I'm going to rig a Gore's Offshore lure. Now, Gore's Offshore, um, he just made his website live. It's goresoffshore.com. There's no apostrophe on the goresoffshore.com. It's just goresoffshore.com. So anyway, back to the lures. These are the high-speed Wahoo lures. This is an 18-ounce lure. This is a 34-ounce lure. And... What we're gonna do is we're gonna rig, I actually rig my high speed stuff with 275 pound cable and I also rig it with 400 pound cable. Well, they were out of 400 pound cable, so I went ahead and grabbed the 275. Now, I will rig this bigger lure on 400 pound cable or even 475. Sometimes they don't have 400 in stock, they only have 475, so that just depends. Um, to me, 75 pound on your cable does not matter. As long, my, my main concern is that it's over 250 pounds and it's multi-strand. So I will use this 275 pound cable on this 18 ounce lure. Now, what you will need is about, I use five feet, because when I get done doing all my crimps and everything, I'm gonna end up with about a three foot leader. Um, I'm using number 10 hooks. They did not have any 11s in stock. The 10s work perfect on these 18s. However, on these 34s, you definitely wanna use 11s because of the hook gap. And I will show you, whether it's marlin fishing, high speed um, wahoo fishing, doesn't matter. In my opinion, and I'm no expert, I just, I believe in what I believe in and I, and I try stuff and if it works for me, it works for me. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So, if what you're doing works, do not change it. Like I said, this is just how I do stuff. But I want my hook gap to fit over my lure, okay? See how that is? Fits right over it, no problem. And that's a 10 op. That's only 18. On the 34, it doesn't fit. You have to use an 11 alt on that 34 ounce lure. Okay. So, what you need, material wise, you need an 18 ounce lure or a 34 ounce lure. 10 alt hook or 11 alt hook. You need 275 pound multi strand cable. You need the associating cramps. I use a little half ounce egg sinker. You will see why. Other people don't, I do, it's just me. I need five feet of that cable. This is some chafing gear for my loop end. You need quarter inch heat shrink. You also need half inch heat shrink. And all this stuff can be bought at tackle shops anywhere around. I get all of my stuff at Saltwater Bait and Tackle, which I am super stoked because Saltwater Bait and Tackle is now opening a tackle shop forward slash beer bar type deal down in Moorhead City Waterfront. It's, I think it's gonna be called um, Taps and Tackle rigged and rowdy or something but uh gonna need a good set of crimps don't pay attention to these this is what happens when the when the guys working out on the deck leave your stuff in the bait box it gets ruined so without further ado let's get started oh yeah you need a heat gun you gotta have that that's for your heat shrink so let's go over one more time heat gun 
High speed Wahoo lure by Gores Offshore. 49 strand cable, 275 pound with the, with the crimps to match. Half ounce egg sinker, some chafing gear. A 10 aught hook for an 18 ounce lure. A 11 aught hook for a 34 ounce lure. Quarter inch heat shrink, half inch heat shrink, crimp, and some dikes to cut your wire with. All right, I hope everybody can see me. So here we go. First thing I'm gonna do, like I said, this is five feet of 275 pound, 49 strand cable. I know I'm gonna catch a lot of crap for this, but I don't care. People say, oh, I use 300, I use 350, I use 400, I use 475, that's fine. Like I said, I'm running an 18 ounce Gores Offshore high speed Wahoo lure with jets. I can run 275 pound cable. If I was running this big 34, I would be running 475, but I'm not, I'm running 18 ounce. Now, before I get started, let me explain. This is what sold me um, on Gores Offshore on their high speed lures. And I'm probably giving something away and a lot of people are gonna copy this, but it's, it's okay, it's fine, it's too late. If you look at the rear of this lure, this lure can be rigged as a high speed lure or you can run it as a natural bait lure. You can put ballyhoo in it. Now, if you look in here, he actually machined this out so that a ballyhoo's nose will fit right in there and it will never wash out. If it washes out, it's because it's been bit or a short strike or you rigged it wrong or something. So that's one key thing that I really like. Another thing that caught my eye is you see the hole inside there see how it's offset well that was done on purpose can you see the right here see how this hole is not centered it's offset that was done on purpose there's two ways you can run this you can run your cable through that and when you do your cable will sit go run through here and this lure will have to run true like this or if this is the bottom and this is the top of the water, it will have to run true because all the weight is on the bottom of the lure because this cable is offset. So when it goes through here, it's actually going on like a 15 degree angle. All right. Also, you don't have to use that. You can actually use the jets. Some people down in like Costa Rica, um, Panama, places like that, he, these lures are already being used and researched and the, the results are incredible. You can run a cable through there, through one of the jets if you wanted to. So, had to point that out. That's what sold me on it. So, if you see right here, this is where the lure, this is where your hook and everything's gonna stop and go in there. So I'm gonna put my thumb about right here. Now, on my high speed lures, and I can't speak for everybody, like I always say, this is my way, this is not the right way, it's not the wrong way, it's my way. I want my hook point to be right here. Like, I want these strings, I do not want to be able to touch that hook point and get stuck on them. So I want that right there, just like that. So, what I'm gonna do, is gonna take a crimp, I'm gonna put it on here. Okay, I'm gonna take a crimp, I'm gonna put it on here. I'm gonna make a loop. So we want this cable to end right here. We want our hook. The tip of our hook has to be at this or below. It cannot be above it because if it is, this will get tangled on the hook. And also IGFA rules say that this can't be beyond the hook point. Now, what I do is put my crimp on there. Find my crimp, there we go. Be very careful so you don't split that cable. Okay. like that all right we want the end of our cable which is where our next crimp will go will be right here where that black p 
piece of um, chafing tube is. So right there, I don't have enough to get to my hook, so I need to get some more. So I'm going to pull from the trunk line. And that right there is about perfect. What I have to do is hold the crimp on the trunk line, which I could have put the hook in here first, but for video purposes, I'm trying to keep everything as easy and simple as I can. And I just messed that up by doing that. But I could have went ahead and put the hook in there, but I didn't. So I'm holding the trunk line and the crimp so that I can tighten this down. And you want this snug. This needs to be rigid. I mean rigid. Okay, just like that. Crimp it with these appropriate size crimps. I'm gonna get one hand crimp each and then I'm gonna really crimp it with both hands. Because remember what I always say, if something fails, I do everything in my power to eliminate the cause of the fail being me. I do not want to be the reason that a lure fails or a fish comes off. Now, I'm going to take my next crimp. I'm going to stick it on from the opposite side of the cable. 10-4. I'm going to put this right in there. Now, see, that's how much I have sticking out of it, okay? I'm going to pinch that, and I'm going to try this again. Now it's slipping out of my hand. Make sure both cables are tight and snug. I'm going to pinch that. I'm going to twist my hook. Let your trunk line spin, not your tags tag line. I'm going to twist this, you know, seven or eight times. All right. Now I'm going to grab my crimps. I'm going to crimp this down. I'm not left-handed, so... It's okay if a little bit of your cable sticks out. That's okay. It's no problem. Because I'll show you why I'm gonna how I'm gonna protect that here in a minute. I'm gonna double crimp these. <clears throat> Alright. Now you see how that's twisted now? You want that for the rigidity. Alright. Now, I'm going to take my heat shrink, and I'm going to measure. This quarter inch will not go over that hook, I, I know that, but it will go over that crimp right there, so I'm going to measure. You want to go from your hook eye to about an eighth inch past your second crimp. Okay. I'm going to slide this on here. Just like so. You can't use a lighter. You cannot use a flame to do this. You have to use a heat gun. I'm gonna take a wrap with my hand so that I can pull this tight. And I wanna keep it like that. Not like that. Not like that. I wanna keep it just like that. I wanna keep it perfectly tight. 
There we go. Now, I'm gonna take a piece of that half inch. It's still, still warm, so it's flexible. We gotta be careful. So this half inch or yes half inch and I'm gonna get enough to go over that hook just like that so that'll be about that much on this half inch there's actually like a glue in there It's still hot to touch. I'm gonna cover that hook out. Okay. See that? Beautiful. See it sealed all the way around with that glue. Now, on this it'll stay formed. I don't want it to come unformed because this is still warm. Okay, so now I'm gonna take, remember my half inch weight? All right, this is what it's for. I'm gonna take this piece of heat shrink, put it down on there, just like so. Okay, I'm gonna take this half inch, half ounce weight. I'm gonna put it down on there. And I know people think this is stupid and overkill and blah, 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 blah. But you know what? It's the way I'll do it. Now this, on that Gores Offshore. Remember how we talked about he, he machines out that pocket for your ballyhoo to go in? Well, that egg sinker here, I'll grab another one. Out of here just to show you the tip of that egg sinker fits right in there so you know every time your hook set will go right in there now that's my trick i say it's my trick i've never seen anybody else do that it's what i do so turn this back on remember you want to keep that on there halfway on that egg sinker See how that heat shrink drew up off that egg sinker? Well, it still has glue on there, so it'll stick to it. It'll stick to it. You just gotta let it cool. So while that's cooling, I'm gonna lay my tape on there. While that's cooling, I'll go to my other end. I'm gonna take a piece of chafing tube I'm gonna take my crimp, put it on there. Actually, I just lied to you. Come on, Mike, use your brain now. Gotta put our lure on there. Gotta put our lure on there. I'm gonna use the offset hole that is machined purposely. I'm gonna set that on there while this is cooling. I don't wanna put this, drop this lure down there and mess that up because that's, that's cooling off right now. Get our crimp, put it on there, put our chafing tube on there. The reason I want the chafing tube on there is because I use snap swivels on my leaders. Always run a shock leader when you're wahoo fishing. I don't care if you're high speed trolling, slow trolling, uh, 
medium trolling, it don't matter. Pull this down. I gotta trim this off. See, this is this is all live action right here. No cheating. No cheating. If you get a messed up end on your cable, do not hesitate to fix it. Now on this one, I don't want any cable sticking out of there because I don't want it getting caught on my finger. So what am I going to do? I'm going to crimp it right there. <clears throat> Make sure you crimp and double crimp your crimps. I'm pushing down on the bench and using both hands. And that's it. That is a high speed lure. This is still, still a little warm. Perfect. See that? My hook is down below there. Beautiful. That's how we do it. Gores offshore high speed. This is the 18 ounce on 275 pound cable with a 10 alt hook. It is a, I believe it's a 76. 91. Yep, 7691. That's exactly what it is. So, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I know it's long, drawn out, whatever, but I don't skip any steps. I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell. Um, I'll leave a link to Gore's website on the description below. That way you can go check them out. Tell them Slick sent you. No, I don't have a discount code, none of that crap. Um, I just believe in these lures and we're going to go catch a wahoo on this lure right here and hopefully the next picture you see of this lure will be hanging out of a hoo dog's face all right that's it appreciate y'all watching thanks for the support love y'all peace